art contest. It's it's a beautiful LED tower. Uh, you can see here. There's well, not really. There's 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 essentially three panels. Uh, a low resolution panel. Then there's three high resolution panels um, on each side. And this video is uh, is gonna try to put together like a little template so that way it makes it a lot easier uh, probably for you guys to go ahead and export this. So I'm gonna create this in Photoshop. Um, so before we jump into this. Uh, here's the other side of the wall, just so that you can you guys kind of have a visual on this. Uh, when you lay it out, uh, there's one large screen, which is one file, right? Uh, the 108 by 800, and then there's the three smaller, uh, three smaller high resolution screens um, here. So uh, what we're gonna do is that uh, we're gonna create uh, a, a template. I'm gonna use Photoshop for for video, and you can essentially just uh, drag and drop your own videos in there and and go ahead and crop it out. So, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how, how I've created the template to put this thing together. Again, there's different ways to do it. And the reason why I'm doing it this way just is so that way I can create one seamless picture all, all wrapped all around. So you essentially could use different images for each one of these uh, as you see fit. But this, uh, this, this tutorial is, is made for that and, and also you can, you can cut up how, how you'd like. So anyway, so we're going to get started. So something to note that uh, when you do add up these widths, it doesn't add up to the 1088. So uh, don't worry about that so much. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and go into Photoshop. Uh, what I did was I hit File, New. I did the uh, 1080 by 800. And then I uh, simply hit OK. And then I created a new video timeline. Um, let's see here. And if you don't see the, the, the timeline, just it's really in Window, uh, Timeline, and it should pop up. Uh, again, don't worry about this too much. Right now, what we're going to try to do is we're going to set the grid line. So we're going to uh, set uh, the points for A, B, and C. So what we're going to do is we're going to create some uh, guides to help us. So the first guide is uh, is vertical at 320. The second guide is going to be twice uh, that length at another 320. So we're going to go to uh, view the guide. So three uh, 640. You multiply that by two. Right, there we go. And then uh, the other one from the other side is actually from 1088 back 320. So um, about 768. So we'll do another new guide at about uh, 768. Perfect. Okay. And then what we're going to do is now we're going to create uh, the, the horizontal line. So we're going to hit view. Uh, more guides, and so it's going to be about 160 pixels down. That's the top, and then it's going to be another uh, 160 below that. That's that's the height of the video. So we're going to do uh, view uh, new guide, and this is going to be about 320 now. So here is your A, and here is your C. So now we have to figure out uh, the lines for uh, the, the bottom part here. So it, so we're just going to be working um, working backwards from it. So this is essentially 800. So it's going to be 800 minus 160, which is going to be the bottom part of it. 800 minus 160 gives you about 640 pixels. So new guide will do 640 pixels. And that's the bottom part. And then um, uh, this 640 minus 160 which gives you 480 so we'll do another line 480 um, bam. okay cool uh, 